If you're like me, you don't play a lot of mobile games. But it's not really because you don't like that or because you don't want to. It's more because you really have a hard time finding a mobile game that you really enjoy. If you're in this situation, stick around for a few minutes, I might have something that could interest you. This game that you're seeing me play right now is called Alto's Odyssey. It is apparently the sequel to another game called Alto's Adventure that I never heard about before. And uh, it was released about a month ago. It's... Uh, I don't know if it's on iOS. I, I didn't bother to check. Uh, because everyone I know, all my friends and, and everyone I... I my acquaintances uh, use Android. I haven't seen someone use an iPhone in months, maybe years. Do, do young people e even buy iPhones anymore? The only people who, who I see using uh, Apple products are young childs like, that their parents give iPads to as toys and old people who buy iPhones because they're really easy to use and take good pictures. I haven't seen someone between 15 and 45 use an iPhone in probably years. Anyway, I have no idea if it's on iOS, but it's a possibility. And on Android it works really well, so that's fine. You probably use Android if you're uh, listening to me. I think in my statistics that 90% of the people who watch my channel use Android, so... Those are the uh, official stats, of course. Could be some outliers. I even see some people using Windows Phone. Um, really, you are courageous. You have the courage of your convictions and, and you stick to your ideals. I admire you, Windows Phone users. Anyway, this game is very clearly inspired by uh, Journey, visually at least. And there's the, the, the protagonist has a scarf that gets longer and longer uh, to indicate your speed. The longer your scarf is, the faster you go. And when there's the scarf goes white, you can fly uh, if you purchase the corresponding um, item with your in-game currency, which are coins. They kind of function like the souls in Dark Souls. You collect them and then you exchange them for uh, abilities or to further the abilities that you already have. It also has a paying system, kind of like the system in Candy Crush, you know, where you can pay but you don't have to, and the game is completely free. It's completely free. Uh, there's a lot of ads, but they're unobtrusive because you only see the ads when you die. So it's not, you know, it's not gonna be bothering you while you're playing the game. Just when you're dead, sometimes when the game is loading, you see an ad. Uh, the only problem with the with the ads is that they some some of them are kind of loud. I would have uh, liked to have an option to mute the ads, or you know, because there there are a lot of video ads and uh, they're not really bad. They're you know those voodoo ads a lot. You know the voodoo ads. You've probably seen them a lot in the past month, you know, these fucking games. Uh, my mom, my dad, <laughs> my dog, my GF, <laughs> noob, pro, cookie, donut. Uh, this one's for the fans, you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, um, yeah, not only Journey, but Monument Valley as well. You can see it in the, in the game, which is a skating game. It's a skating game. It's a really refreshing take on the skating genre pioneered by t the Tony Hawk uh, games uh, 20 years ago. And yeah, it's a really simple gameplay. It's, you only tap on your screen or hold. You tap to jump. You hold to backflip, which you just saw me, you know, do a uh, botched one right there. But um, yeah, it's tapping to jump, holding to backflip, and then you tap and hold if you want to wall ride. You'll see some walls that you can wall ride, They're, uh, they have polka dots on them. And yeah, the music is really good, it evolves slowly 
from level to level. Uh, it's an endless runner, of course, but it's far from being a temple run clone. And what else can I say? It reminds me a bit of Goat Simulator. N not, not really, but you know, there's there's something. And um, I, I enjoy it thoroughly because it's easy, but there's still a little challenge. Um, and there are a lot of nice details in it, especially as you can see the game is really bright and because of that it's very comfortable to play it with the brightness of your phone turned way down which will save you a ton of battery. I, I have bad memories of Pokemon Go which had to crank the brightness way up to be playing comfortably and because of that it ruined your battery in a few hours. This game is the exact opposite. You can play it for hours and hours and hours and because your phone will be dimly lit you will save a lot on battery life which is a really nice thing. Um, what else? Uh, I'm looking for things to say. I, I had a, I had them all noted on a on a notepad, but I I, I um, lost it. So I'm I'm uh, improvising right now, trying to. Um, I suck at this game. Uh, you, you may not be able to see it with the footage, but I literally recorded hours of footage to be able to uh, showcase some of my very small skills. I really suck at this game and most of the most of the runs are about one minute long because I'm not really good at it but it's it's fine because the point is not to well pun intended go from point A to point B uh, there are you know some challenges that you have to do kind of like in Tony Hawk actually some challenges that you have to do uh, in and in, in every level which are all located in the same uh, area, which is this, um, I think it's the Andes, I think it's the Andes, uh, because it's uh, really, there's a South America vibe to all of it, and uh, it's mountains, so uh, I assume it's the Andes. The first game was uh, in the snow, and I probably wouldn't have liked it that much, because I hate snow, but those desert landscapes are some of my favorite landscapes ever. Uh, it it kind of reminds me of the Gerudo Desert in Breath of the Wild, actually. Even the music sounds like it a little bit. And, um, yeah, let's talk about the gameplay. Uh, I, I explain you how it works. Let's talk about the difficulty, actually. Uh, it's pretty easy. But it's not that easy, it's a nice level of challenge for a mobile game. It's absolutely a casual game, it's not hard, it's not, you know, Beat Trip Runner or Super Meat Boy, far from it. But uh, you still need a fair bit of concentration uh, and, and reflexes, so it's just enough not to get boring, but not enough to get hard. So it's it's a great it's um, it's really relaxing on all on on all uh, sides the music the visuals the atmosphere and the gameplay itself you can play with one hand of course you can play with one finger if you want kind of like the uh, Atari games that I really loved so much or the early Mario games and what else. It's really, it's really a sur it's really a good surprise for me. I kinda had you know lost faith on on mobile gaming. Uh, of course, I loved Candy Crush. I played it for a really long time uh, because it had it had a simple concept done really well. But even Candy Crush now, the new one with those. 3D characters that move all the time, it's distracting for the eyes, it's not nice, I don't like the new sound effects, it's stupid, but 
for something like that that you're gonna be playing a lot in a lot of different circumstances maybe in the bus maybe on the toilet maybe when you're at work maybe when you're trying to sleep at night if you have insomnia like me I've been playing this a lot to help me sleep and it works a little bit I think it's it puts me in a good mood at least and that's important in my opinion this game puts me in a good mood and just for that it deserves points it's free it looks nice there's plenty of levels right now I'm at level 35 uh, what you're seeing is footage that I've recorded a few days ago I think that's level 19 and uh, all the levels look the same obviously it's the challenges that uh, that change and um, yeah there's enough variety in the challenges some are, are like uh, do a double backflip over a chasm or collect uh, 500 ca coins or startle a, a lemur while doing a trick or go from wall ride to backflip to grind you know it's um it's a lot Tony Hawk like in terms of gameplay but 2D that's really interesting mix that's really an interesting combo a 2D skating game with aesthetics and that's about it. I think I've said everything so I'm gonna cut there that you enjoy this beautiful sunset with the with birds and the um, hot air balloons. I'm gonna end with uh, an anecdote. Uh, the Mile High Club, you know, it wasn't started on the plane. It was started way before planes were invented. The first person to join the Maya High Club did it in a hot air balloon. Uh, I don't remember the name, but you can look that up. Uh, probably French. And um, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Maybe you will download and enjoy this game. And I, I hope some of you will be ravished by its aesthetics and relaxing powers. That was Chad Mojito for the Mojito Channel. Peace!